Okay, I'm up on Darius's roof. Um, and I think this roof was done probably about five years ago from what he said. Um, when I pulled up on the job, I noticed that um, <clears throat> whoever flashed this chimney had did something uh, I refer to as a Philly flash job where they didn't cut their riglet in. Um, cutting your riglet in on especially a brick chimney is really important. Um, a chimney flashing is uh, one of those details that is very important in the roofing trade industry. Uh, so let's go around the back and we'll check check out what's uh, going on. Now, the first thing I notice when I get back to the back is they have uh, what they're using for caps. And we're not there, which they didn't actually use caps. They used part of a shingle to cap this uh, cricket off. Um, it looks like maybe they were cracking and somebody's come up here and just put a bunch of caulk on there. Um, they also tried to resolve the problem by putting more caulk everywhere. Um, if we'll look here, we'll see a water trap where this shingle is, which is, is a bad situation. Um, <clears throat> we'll just keep looking around a little bit more and we'll see that they ran the shingles, um, they staggered them like you would a, a three-tab shingle. Um, generally, when you run these shingles, you want to run them on a 45-degree angle. If we'll look here, we'll see a crotch where two shingles butt together, and then we'll see a split in this shingle. Now, if we lift this up, the head, we can see the headlap on the bottom shingle ends, and there's a split that will allow water to go in. Um, that's not gonna be the only problem, but that's going to contribute. Um, I've looked at the chimney and it, it doesn't look bad. It looks like it's, he's had quite a bit of work done on this. Um, and somebody was saying that it might have something to do with the internal part of the chimney, but it does not. It is, it is definitely uh, the flashing. Now I'm not gonna open this chimney up um, because I don't want to cause them more trouble. Um, but I can tell you this is a, a very terrible uh, chimney flashing job. I would recommend reflashing this entire chimney. Um, we'll just work our way around a little bit more. Uh, it looks like somebody has came up here and used some kind of caulk, some kind of fabric on this. Um, in which that's, that's no way to fix any problems. These corners don't look good at all. Um, it just looks like a really terrible, uh, flashing job that's indigenous to the Philadelphia area. Um, you can see the caulk is starting to wear out. And, um, even right here, you know, the caulk's starting to wear out, um. So I'm gonna take this video and I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to the homeowner and then we'll go from there.